Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to European Racing Series Tier 2 on the PC platform. We go here to round number two, one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. We are here at the Sakhi International Circuit for the Bahrain Grand Prix, where it's been holding races since 2004, and it's became a night race since the hybrid era started in 2014. My name is Jess, and I'll be your commentator as per usual. And if you missed last week's race in Australia, then where have you been? Because it was absolutely fantastic. It was great to see all 20 drivers on the grid once again, and it's sure going to be an absolute thriller. The first race um, in Bahrain was run by Michael Schumacher in real life in 2004, and that was before it was a night race. And this race is known for being a power circuit, meaning that low downforce is key down the multiple long DRS straights, but it also has some very tricky corners that require higher wing angles to optimize. So, without further ado, I'm just going to be unmuting these, and we are going to go straight to qualifying. So, welcome along, welcome on board. We've got 16 minutes left to go. I have asked uh, the drivers, I, I um, did a bit of um, digging, I, I, I actually spoke to a few drivers before the race with um, some thoughts about what they thought about last week, how they're feeling coming into this week and their expectations for the qualifying and the race. But just a few things to mention, um, Max Fawn is going to be reserving for the Alpha Tauri. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who they're filling in for, I think it's Pavel as far as I'm aware, that he's filling in for. So that is what he's filling in for. Um, Marinella Baby in the Williams was a reserve driver. Let me find him. I should have got it on the numbers on my keyboard, but I couldn't be bothered. But anyway, Marinello Baby is was a reserve and he is now a full-time driver. So that is very good news as well for him. And there was someone else as well that became full-time, but I can't remember. So Higgsy has gone out for a little bit of a spin there as well. So before I go on board with someone on the lap, let's go through the standings. Alex Bitto is leading the championship with 25 points after his win last time about in dominant fashion. Cryptic in second with 18 points. We go and we got Sig in third in the Haas. Fourth place is the Red Bull or Flash with 12 points. Fifth place is Ryzen in the racing point with 10 points. Sixth place is TX606 with 8 points. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Nixana in seventh place with six points. Marinello Baby, eighth place in four points. Not Zoro in ninth with three points because he got the fastest lap last week. And Higgsy with one single point. Everybody else yet to score. So let's go on board with someone on our laps. Let's go on board with Rage Quit, who's filling in for one of the drivers tonight. I think it's Jack. Yes, he is. He's filling in for Jack tonight. So. You're going towards turn one, the fastest spot on the track. Breaking it is very tricky. You break between the 150 and 100 metre board. Now, turn three is a corner only in name, and the second DRS zone starts immediately once you've powered through it. Now, you're going to go through in to the start of the second sector here in a second after you pass turn four. Through turn five and seven, the downforce you put on the car comes into play here, beginning with this left, right, left complex. You only need to dab a little bit going into six and then into turn seven. Make sure you avoid the curbing on the outside. He almost boarded there, but luckily he just about managed it. Now these corners arguably turns nine and ten, one of the most difficult, not only on this circuit, but on the entire F1 calendar, which got break and turn at the same time. This is the next DRS straight. Running wide on the exit is very common here, but as long as you avoid the outside curbing, you should be fine as you go past turn 11. You need to go a good line here, going to turn 12 and into turn 13. Most understeery corner on the circuit. If you're feeling brave, you can run the left front over the edge of the outside curb here. Now turn 14 and 15 is effectively one corner. This is a very long back straight coming up here now as he goes through the penultimate corner. Let's see what Rage Quick can do. Bitto, his teammate, is on pole position, but let's see how Rage Quick can manage. It is ninth place for the 126. 0.635 and there it was it was a hot lap around the beautiful gorgeous Sakia circuit so a few drivers were expecting some good things around Bahrain Alex even though Alex actually won the race last week he is MRL Bitto on my screen there we go let me just go on board with him even though he said you know he won last week but he still felt that things could have gone better for him 
Um, he felt like there was a few things he could improve, but it's nice as a driver, even though you've won, you always want to find stuff to improve on, on your racecraft. And if he does that, then he's going to turn into a really incredible racer. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well he's going to do this race. He's been looking really good in practice. He's hoping for a 24-9, and that's what he's predicting pole is going to be. And he likes Bahrain. It's a nice track for overtaking. And uh, a track where the hards are going to be used quite a lot here. And I was speaking to people about the strategy today. And a majority of people, when I asked them about the strategy, were going to go for softer hards. I think pretty much everyone was going to go for softer hards. We do have a few people, though, that are going to try the cheeky two-stop strategy with a uh, soft, medium, soft, soft, medium, or soft, medium, medium. We'll have to wait and see. But soft to hard is what um, people would want to do. That's why everybody is on the soft right now. The only person, well, only few people not on the softs it, uh, is Zoro on the mediums. I just got his responses as just about as we we're about to start the stream about, like, I think about 20 minutes ago. So luckily I got Zoro's response just in time. But Zoro was gutted that he had that spin towards the end because before that, his pace was absolutely fantastic. His... He got the alternate strategy just right, and he was on course to be getting a podium, if not second place. But that spin in turn one costed him. But luckily, he still got points. He got the fastest lap to it, but he's got... I think he's got a lot of work to do, but seeing what he can do last week, he is going to really hope that he gets a better result this week. Um, he hasn't set a lap time at the moment, though. He has invalidated his lap time. I actually need to find, find him as responses, actually. I, I thought it was on Discord. Oh, there we go. Uh, um, and he finds turn 8, turn 9, and turn 10 tricky under breaking, as do most people. And Zoro is going out big today. He's going for the win. Podium will be nice, but he's going for the win. Now, he has, he has had a few wins in the past in ERS. So I won't be surprised if he goes for the win today. So... I won't be surprised if he also goes for the alternate strategy. We could see quite a few people go with memes to hards. Because that's a prominent feature on the last game. I think a lot of people in the last game went for memes to hards. When I was filling in for tier 2 last season, that was what a lot of people do. And it was just, you know, um, the best thing to do. But the strategies are different. You can't expect setups to be the same. You can't expect... Strategy to be the same. You've got to think on your feet, really. So that's why the first season on the game cycle for European Racing Series is going to be very testing for these drivers just to have, have to um, a, a little bit to think about. So 10 minutes left to go. And looking at the timings, we have got the top six separated by eight tenths per second. So that is pretty good so far. Nick Zana as well didn't do too bad last time about I think he was seventh place last week he got a few penalties though but he said to me early on today that he's hoping for less penalties now I'm a person that hopes that he gets less penalties for him but it's not as common to get a penalty around here but I would say heading towards turn 11 would be the common place to get penalties I would say so I think that's what Nick Zana is going to be um, avoided and he actually said that qualifying outside the top 10 will probably be the best for him as he gets free tyre choice and he can decide pretty quickly on what tyres he wants to go on. And, I mean, it's, it, it's not a bad strap. You wouldn't want to be qualifying P10 or P9 because the guys behind you, well, all the guys behind you are going to be the ones starting on the alternate strategy. Quite a few people will be on the mediums as well. So... You've got to think on your feet, really, here as well. So, McFawn in at 7th place at the moment. Dragon also on the medium tyres. Black Sheep in 20th is also on the mediums. He's looking to score a lot better than he did last week. He wasn't that impressed with his pace, but, you know, we shall see how we um, get on with the session with 8 minutes to go. And TX, I think, has inv well, did invalidate earlier on as well which is a bit of a shame but you know and uh, they have a new patch recently which um you can see actually see if they're new tires or older tires on the mfd not much change to the multiplayer system though 
Which I thought, I, I, sometimes I kind of find a bit worrying, but there we go. Um, so hopefully they actually listen to us and fix the stuff that they do need. But yeah, Calissa down in 13 is also, I think, a full-time driver now. As he goes past turn 11 into turn 12. Just what? Um, I think he's running out of fuel as well, so he can't go. I'm just going to try and find on board someone in the lap going towards that corner. I actually see. Is there anyone coming through turn 11? No, I think I just about missed it. But actually, no, let's go on board with Flash. Flash is just about to go towards turn 11. You can see how tricky to get it right because obviously understeering is more prominent on this game. If you get the wrong setup, you're going to be understeering quite a lot. That's what I found in the Bahrain. During my team and during like the offline my team, because I do stream my team on my Twitch, but I also do offline as well. I always find if you don't have a setup, you're going to be understeering quite a lot. If you have the right setup, you're going to get it just right. It's like that with France as well, because obviously I'm doing France with my team later. There was one setup where I was understeering too much, but there was another setup I put on and I was like, yes! The sound was just right for me. I wasn't understeering too much. And a lot of these people do put in a lot of time and effort in and to the south. So, you know, they just, it's just incredible. I don't spend a lot of time on sales because, you know, it's, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a try hard and I don't league race as much. But if I had the time, I would like to, to improve, basically. And it'll also help me with commentaries as well to understand the setup a bit more but only one way to find out is hopefully the rest of these guys um show us what they can do dragon is on his outlap on the soft compound of tires now the hearts could be in a situation where we could see puncher territories most of these guys i've spoken to have spoken to sorry are a bit worried about punchers now, in a Bahrain race I was commentating on Sunday, the safety car came in. There was two safety cars. One people pitted for the hard straight away. And they, uh, they didn't pit until the end, and then the, yeah, the second lot pitted on the second safety car. The ones that pitted on the sa second safety car managed to keep their tyres intact, but there was quite a few people that just about got through with around about 80, 70, 80% tyre wear. Because Hans only lasts about 18 laps. After that, you've got to do a lot to try and save your tyres, really. And considering that a couple of the people that I was watching on Sunday were on about that tyre wear, it was just incredible to see. And on my statistics, I didn't put that it was going to be inches or four wet because in Bahrain, it never rains. That's one, of the, that's one of the reliefs of the drivers. They don't have to practice for the wet weather, so... They can almost safely say that they are confident that they're going to get um, some dry running, obviously. It's the only track, as well as Abu Dhabi, that like, it almost certain is going to be a dry race. But Rage Quit is going into the pits right now. We've already got four minutes left to go of qualifying. So, sensational stuff right here. As Hydrodan is about to go into the pits as well. The tyre temps... It's a big factor on this track, especially. It's in the night, but we know how hot the desert is. So the rears do tend to heat up quite a lot. So that's why we're going to keep an eye on people's formation laps to see how well they warm up their tyres. I don't, to be honest, I still don't know how they do it. Because when I warm, warm up my tyres in Bahrain, in my team, my rears just get so overheated. But mainly because I just I just use the steering wheel far too much. So maybe there is a method to people's madness, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. So we shall see. Can anyone beat Bitto who scored one race win? Flash is looking like the favourite to possibly um counter that and potentially get the win as well. Bird's doing very well in third place, I believe, but was one of those drivers that got involved in some incidents last week. And again, he wasn't too happy with himself. I think, actually, no. He was one of these drivers where, that he was all right about the result. He felt like he could have done better. And he thought about the positives instead of the negatives. The, the bits where he did race, he did a great job. 
from his, from his opinion anyway. But then as soon as he spun and crashed, then that was game over. But at least he's a driver that thinks about the positives, works out on stuff to improve and then moves on. And that is what a good driver is. So I'm, I'm excited to see what Burke can achieve. He's six tenths off a pole now. No one has got to the predicted pole time yet of a 124.9 around this track. Obviously, this is tier two pace, not tier one. So we are not going to get people into the 123s today. You never know. There could be people that will shock us. But nah, there is literally no way we're going to get that today. But we'll see. Come on, tier two drivers. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. So, a lot of people are also on the one-shot quali situation. We've got Black Sheep that's going into the pit. I don't think he's going to leave himself with enough time to go into the to, to, out for his final lap. Luckily, Maranello both will have time for one more. Dragon and Hixie has got out just in time as well. I think you're allowed to slipstream in tier two. I'm not entirely sure about that. As uh, the two, I think the two Alpha Tower, he's almost running in tandem. You can see right now. I wonder who's going to get the toe first. I wonder. And if I was teammates with someone, I would I would want to go in the party and say, right, I want to give the toe here and here and then in this lap and in this lap because then it will work really nicely. As Zoro has retired from the session, um, I think he was... Uh, happy with his lap or he couldn't get, extract anything out of the car or he might have ran out of soft so that is why he has decided not to take any further part of qualifying but everybody else except him and Black Sheep are on for, out for one final lap. I do believe Bitto, no it's not Bitto, who is going to be the last person to cross the line? It could be TX actually and usually around here what I've noticed the last person to cross the line is usually the person that does really well. So we'll see. We'll have to find out. Let's see what Ryder could do um, in... Uh, no, he's slowing down a bit as well. Let's just hope I don't get the rev glitch in at these sessions today. But we'll have to find out, of course. Now, the as well as Turn 1 and Turn 4, obviously Turn 9 and 10 could be the good action zones. Turn 14 as well is where we'll see a lot of the overtaking opportunities as well due to the... Long back straight. There is no DRS there though. It, 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 the back straight around Bahrain kind of reminds me of China in the way it's shaped and stuff like that. But it's a little, it's a little bit more easier to negotiate because the corners and stuff. China is not a big fan of me, so you know. Anyway, so with a few seconds to spare, we've got a few people about to cross the line as Paddy goes purple, set to two, but we got Furball. Uh, nope, is it Furball? Is it about to cross the line? Nope, he's just about to start his lap time. Now, we got on McLaren of Hydrogen. He has invalidated his lap. He won't be taking any further part in qualifying. Manello Baby is about to start. I think Black Sheep. Oh, Black Sheep. Black Sheep's time's glitched on my screen. I do not know what has happened there. Anyway, let's go on board with Ryzen. Ryzen goes in into the pit so he won't be taking any further part in qualifying what about Kalitza? he's about to cross the final corner now can he get inside the top 10 nope he cannot who is next across the line we've got rage quit i believe who has invalidated his lap time we've got williams uh, behind him of marinello baby can he get a good result today he only manages p15 what about last week's pole sitter and last week's race winner? Can he get two for two at the moment? Yes. TX is going to be the last person to cross the line. Unfortunately, he can't do any better. He improves time, though, but still remains T uh, P10. Max Vaughan now goes into the pit lane now. So that is his qualifying done. So once again, for the second race in a row... Bitto is on pole position. But not the times I was expecting. Everyone was predicting that, they were, that the, the pole time was going to be a 124.9. No one actually got round to that pole time. 
Maybe because for some of them, maybe their time trials are a lot faster, but these guys can't rely on time trial too much because obviously the selfs are different. There's no um, managing of ERS in time trial and also about the service temperatures. It's just, it's just a lot different. Also, thanks to our two follows. We've got uh, Louie, uh, who has just followed me. Thank you very much. I know you. How are you doing, mate? And obviously the real host man for following me as well. So thank you very much. I won't be checking chat too often, um, but I just thought it'd be nice to uh, um, say thanks for the follows at this point. So on par, we've got Bito in the runner with two of the Hasses occupying... Uh, well, we've got Paddock occupying the front row with Bito, and then we've got Sig in third. Then we've got Flash in fourth, Burke in fifth, Rage Quit in sixth, Higgsy in seventh, Ryzen in P8, Cryptic in ninth, TX rounding up your top ten. Then we got Black Sheep, Dragon, Max Fall, Nixana, Hydradan, Marinello Baby, Furball, Colossa, Zoro, and Set. And that is your results then. So who is excited for this race then? Will people do the one-stop strategy for softer hearts? Or will people go for the gamble and try the two-stop strategy? We've seen the top esports guys majority of them have gone for two stop strategies but for these guys they want to be a bit more conservative go for the one stop see what they can do the hards only last about 19 laps so and the softs i think if i could just double check my little spreadsheet that i've got somewhere there we go the softs can only last 10 laps so they gotta really try and get those softs for a long time the first pit window for the soft is about lap seven to nine so I wonder if people will go for, try and go for the... I think people will go for the undercut if they were going for the two stops. They wouldn't pit too early otherwise. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe the safety car will probably force some of these guys to go into a two-stop strategy. I wonder if we will get a safety car. Most likely. But we'll see. Let's get our tyre strategies up on your screen. There we go. So, quite a mixed bag actually. So, the top 10, for those of you that don't know, and you're new to Neeg Racing and new to my channel, if you just join us, hello, welcome to some commentary. The top 10 will have to start on the tyres they set their fastest lap on, which is the soft compound of tyres. People outside the top 10, they have free willing to go on whatever tyre they want to. So, let's go on board with these guys. Black Sheep is on the hard compound of tyres. Dragon is on the medium, so is Max Fawn as well. Nixana is on the hards. Hydrodan is on the soft. Manello Baby is on the mediums. Furball is on the mediums too. Kalissa is on the medium. Zoro is on the hards. And Set in last place on the mediums. Who is a little bit about, I think, a little bit further ahead than some of the other guys. But you can see a lot of people are warming their tyres. And Alex is just sitting there, just chilling, you know. Like, uh, you know, there's some places where I don't have to warm the tyres. And maybe he's, um, playing a strategic call so yeah fresh soft do last 10 laps yeah they do as i just said earlier on so uh, let's know who you're supporting in the chat guys who do you want to win and who do you think is gonna win this race we have got 29 laps ahead of us here tonight who is gonna be the one that's gonna come out on top we're gonna probably see a lot of drs trains today I'm looking forward to this race. I've been looking forward to this race all week. Bahrain, I've got to say, never fails to disappoint. No matter what league I commentate, it's brilliant. Tier 2 last season, when I was filling in for, I think it was um, Absinthe. Bahrain, it was fantastic. Let's hope they pull off the same performance here today. And everyone is just about to line up on the grid. I don't think anyone got disqualified there, so... Everyone was behaving today. Beasties predicting SLR Dragon. Oh, so an outside choice there. It's good to be bold with your predictions. Usually when I go bold with my predictions, I tend to be wrong. So that's why I'm not going to predict. And because I forgot, we're not going to have enough time to do that. So we're just waiting for Set to come across the line. To There we go. So the five red lights are coming up on your screen right now. Let's see who's going to get the best of starts. And it is lights out and away we go. And Paddock has got a really good start um, in P2. But Bito 
has launched away really, really quickly as well. And as you can see, the strategy's popped up on your screen. We do see the Red Bull trying to make the move there really nicely there as well. Let's see how they all approach turn one. This could be very, very tricky here, but they all seem to make it through unscathed. We do have damage, actually. Cryptic has spun, and we also got Higgsy that had a bit of a moment there as well. We can see we got the racing point of Ryzen trying to defend for his life from Nixana, but Nixana all the way up into ninth place. He's had a fantastic start. Flash has got a great move on Pazic. He is up into second place, so... A lot of people struggling, but a lot of people gaining in these opening laps. It is great to see people's strategic moves coming up right now. Meanwhile, let's move on to Higgsy and Max Vaughn. They're going side by side, going into the tricky turn 10. No DRS, don't forget, at the moment. Let's see if Max is going to try and hold on. Higgsy might try to the left-hand side just a little bit. In and to turn 11. This is the understeery point of the circuit. I'm sure that it's going to be hard to overtake on one mistake could cost you in this corner as well. Max didn't need much room for Higgsy there. I don't think Higgsy has got damage there. It is hard to tell, but he's gone off and he's all the way down into 19th. So a bit of a shame there. Meanwhile, Hydra Dan and Black Sheep are going for moves here as well. Here comes Hydra Dan up in into 12th place. And we can see the timing screen glitching for me. Lovely. Lovely. And we got some moves coming up as well. It's hard to tell who's ahead of who, to be honest. Something, uh, so another thing which I think should fit. And we're not in lap three, by the way. We're on lap two. Um, it's a thing that's happening quite a majority of leagues I've commentated on. Hopefully it will come back soon. But all we know is uh, Bitto is leading. Flash is in second. And Paddock is chasing down for every move. In the test races, Paddock has got two pole positions. He's known for being a spinner. Tonight, he's hoping not to be known as a spinner. He's hoping to get a much better result than last week. His teammate Sig scored very well last week. He's looking to add to that tonight. Six temps separating now. And ideally, you want to be around about two temps behind the car behind in order to get the move, or even three temps. A bit of a lock up from Rage Quit. That's allowed TX to gain some more time on the Renault driver. Nixana has just got a three second time penalty due to multiple warnings. So our first penalty is coming into fruition. Maybe for some of these uh, drivers, that the penalties could decide it. But here comes Ryzen once again, this time on, Matt, on Nixana. To the Alpha Tower, he's then gonna be striking but at the moment, oh my goodness, it's going to be free wide. Let's not make it free wide, lads. Luckily, they don't make it free wide. Oh my goodness, that was that was so close to making it free wide. But Nixana holds on there. Ryzen dropping down a few positions. Matt Fawn now up into 10th place. Hydra Dan is now going for the move. It's going to be free wide again. Ryzen, what a move. He just not gained just one position, but two. Hydra Dan has just hit Nixana. That's not what you want. And uh, Max Vaughan says, thank you very much. There's my 10th position gained back again. And if I was the Apatari boss, I would be a little bit worried right now. Mainly because you've got two of your boys fighting. I know you want to be fighting and letting, letting them race, of course. But I, I would be so scared. But we shall see. We shall see. Meanwhile, going up near the front, we've got Rage Quit. Two temps behind Sig. Rage Quit doing well on the DRS, but Sig doing even better. Rage Quit making a little bit of a mistake. That's Sig's chance to increase the gap on Rage Quit now. Rage Quit lagging on my screen. So I don't know what's happened there. But he's still able to gain some time on Sig. So I wonder how the drivers are faring with Rage Quit in the lobby. He did have a few connection issues the last time he raced it um, in the test race, actually. He tries to get past Sig, which he does. Unfortunately, the camera didn't quite get the best view there, which is a bit of a shame, really. But there we go. He's up into fourth place. Going down the rest of the field. Cryptic trying to make a comeback. Cryptic is holding on to P15 for dear life. Zoro would want to be higher than P15, that's for sure. But he was around about that last week. 
and you're still able to make it work. If he does the, the alternate strategy, don't be surprised. Again, he did it last week. As they all go down the left hand and then going down the hill. Already Bitto is pulling up an incredible gap on Flash. 4.5 seconds. Manilo Baby fighting with Nixana going into turn 10. Heavy braking zone with Nixana just avoiding locking up just a little bit more. Nixana up into B10, but here we go. We've got Hydra on Manello Baby. It's Hydra's time to pout. It, he is the browsing horse here today. He is, I think, in the middle of this train. We do have a yellow flag. That is an Alfa Romeo. That's Higgsy. Higgsy's rear tyres must be going stone. Well, not stone hot, but really hot right now. That is a shame. But if I was him, I would continue. Marlow and Nixana side by side going to the start finish straight. I'm surprised. I thought they would be giving um, some slipstream with each other. But Hydra Dan's going to benefit from the slipstream. So he is tucked behind these two. Marlow Baby stays ahead. Keeping intact at the moment. But Nixana and Hydra are going to have one other advantage. And that is DRS. What is Nixana going to do? We've got another yellow flag. I think it's Hixie once again. I'm not entirely sure about that one. I think it is Hixie because there's no down hours at the moment. Let's have a look at how many positions have been gained this race. We've got Flash has gained two. Rage Quit has gained three. TX has gained three. Dragon's gained four. Max has gained three. Marinello Baby has gained five. Nixana has gained two. Hydradan's gained two. Zoro's gained three. And Higgsy has retired. And it's not really a surprise there. He has retired from the pit lane. These drivers have been told that they need to retire from the pit lane if they had enough, basically. And, I mean, what a shame for him. But, you know, what can you do for for him you know he was trying he was trying his absolute best to uh, hold on to these guys but it just got a little bit too difficult for him four laps to go until the first pit window actually one lap to go until the next pit window actually Hydra down, gaining and gaining on Nixana by the minute. But he's dropped off a bit. Nixana has got some brilliant straight line speed. Maybe his setup is geared towards that at the moment. Hydra down did press the DRS button really quickly though. So that might have helped him a little bit. We've got someone in the chat that is rooting for the Williams boys out here tonight. Well, let's hope for your sake that the Williams boys do well. We've got one Williams in P11. And another in a P50. Marinello, baby. Still one place away of getting a point. And all that stands in his way at the moment is Max Vaughan and Ryzen. Max Vaughan two tenths now behind Ryzen. He is thinking strategically here. He's not going to go for the move here if he doesn't see fit. Max Vaughan is on the mediums. He should know that the people on the soft will be pitting anytime soon. Here we go then. We've got a battle for the, the second place. Rage Quit and Flash going side by side. Who's going to get DRS though? It's Rage Quit. Rage Quit going for the undercut. That is far too early if you're considering to go on the hard compound of tyres. But we'll have to wait and see of course. Rage Quit goes on the medium. So Rage Quit is going for the two soft strategy. Because there's no way you're going to get soft to medium until the end. So I thought someone was going to go for the, the two stop. And they did. So it is great to see a varying of different strategies here today. I did see quite more, a few more people going for soft to hard so with their strategies. It is tailored to what these guys are have put for their Jeffs of course. But... They don't have to follow Jeff. Sometimes I put strategies on, but I don't put... I just don't change the stink length of times. As long as I put the tyres in, it doesn't matter, really. But i just got to be careful, of course. Meanwhile, Dragon 
Again, he just can't get past TX here into turn 11. The train is starting to form now. Paddock in third is the one under pressure. And it is a chain reaction. If he can't get past, oh, TX is out of the race. Oh, that's a weird place to spin there. Maybe he made contact with someone. I would like to check someone's POV for that. Because that is a bit worrying. And we do have a VSC. I'm surprised at the VSC. I thought it was a, a safety car. But we've got a lot of people taking advantage of it and going to the pits. So the ones I thought that were going to say, right, going soft to hard, it's going for soft to mediums. Soft, medium, medium. Or soft, medium, soft. So, it just goes to show you've got to go for your gut instinct. And it is technically a free pit stop for some of these guys. So, in the leading medium runner is Flash then. So, I wonder how that is going to play in, especially with the likes of Bitto. Bitto, the only guy now that was on the soft still yet to pit. Everybody else still on the mediums or on the hards. If I was Bitto. I know Bitto will be thinking, well, I've got to go get that, to that one stop work. If I was him, I would throw that completely out the window and think about the two stop. Two stops? I've raised two stops in my team. It is f way faster. Way faster, in my opinion. Um, for a um, casual player like me anyway, because I'm not... Honestly, I've got to admit, I am not the fastest driver on this game. And I play for a bit of a laugh, of course. As TX has left the session. So, that is not good. So, he is not happy with his performance so far. Bitter O still staying out. So, he's playing the gamble. So, he's, I think what he's going to do, I think he's going to make it to the end of lap 10, which is... How long the softs can last for anyway? So I think he is going to be committing to the one stop. We'll see if that strategy pays off. Flash goes into the pits. I think. Did he pit for damage? Or did he just pit overall? I'm a bit confused. So I swear he peered alongside everybody else. That is strange. But here we go then. We've got Black Sheep, who's also made a stop. I think it was a lap earlier, trying to get past Flash as well. So Black Sheep almost would have got past him. Black Sheep might have done the undercut of dreams here. Meanwhile, up front, Kalissa gets past Zoro. They're on different strategies, of course. And Kalissa has got a three second time penalty for that. Well, if you cut turn 10 like that, then you are going to get a penalty, really. So I, I, I tend to do that quite a bit on this game around Bahrain. So who doesn't cut around it? If anyone doesn't, then they're lying. <laughs> Meanwhile, our race leader, Bitto, is going into the pits. A lot earlier than we thought, but... He's going to make it to the end. Set is also retired. Safety car. That has worked wonders for our race leader. He's got a free pit stop. Where did Set retire? That looked like turn eight? No, turn nine? Just in the middle of turn eight and nine, actually, it looked like. I think, I think he hit the wall as well. That is a shame. What if I would do, if I would have liked an Ixana, Furball, Kalissa? They have gone, well, nixana has gone for another set of mediums. We've got Furball on a set of hard compound tyres. I do believe he was on the mediums, though, so he can make it to the end on these tyres. Kalissa as well on those hards. Rising on the hards, Flash on the hards. Pit it again. So he might have made contact somewhere. But I'm not sure. Meanwhile, luckily the safety car hasn't gone to catch the leader again. So maybe Dragon and Manello, baby, will be thinking twice perhaps and 
potentially wanting to go on to that one-stop strategy as well. Maybe doing memes the hearts may be the best option for them. And I did say they would be a safety car in this race, didn't I? And boy, I was, I was right. I was proven right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, we'll see what these two can do if they go into the pits. Roro's still yet to pit. He's in fourth place at the moment. I won't be surprised if he wants to take the lead on track. Dragon has probably listened to me or has read my mind. Dragon has gone into the pits. Manello Baby has done exactly the same thing. He's gone into the pits. What about Zoro? Bito's pitted again. Has Bito got damage? Let me just go on board with him, actually. Let's see. Did he get damage? No. So maybe he was on the wrong tyre? I'm a bit confused. Maybe what I'm thinking, he went on the hards before the safety car, but then he realised a lot of people are going to be on much faster tyres. I'm probably not going to get past them. So that's why he's probably gone on it to the mediums. So we thought that strategy worked perfectly for Bito, but maybe not now. So your leading person on a one stop is Dragon. Obviously, Zoro yet to pit. He's on the hard tyres. The hards could make it about 19 laps, so... If I was him, obviously, Zoro could do hards to softs. The gap is not going to help him, though, because when he does pit around about lap 19, he is going to be losing so much places, so he's going to hope that he has a really good safety car restart, as do a lot of these guys. So, nobody on the softs, majority of people on the hards. Everyone has made at least one stop apart from Zoro. So, the ones on the hards are just pitted, they don't have to pit again if they don't want to. Unless there is another safety car, which is most likely. I can't remember how many safety cars in Australia, was there one? I think there was one. I'm not entirely sure. But it's quite common to get a safety car around here in Bahrain. Don't forget, if you are liking the content so far, don't forget to follow at European Series on Twitter. European Racing Series is a league on PC. That races every Tuesday night at 7pm UK time. And we have four tiers, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 and tier 4. I'm covering the tier 2 coverage throughout the whole season, the full 22 race calendar. This is lap, this is race 2 of 22. And next week we go to Vietnam and I'll be commentating on Vietnam for the first time. Some people lo some people hate it, some people love it. I'm probably one of those people that hates it driving wise. But there we go. So when is the safety car going to come in? I think since all of them has caught up now, I think that's when the safety car is going to be deciding, right, let's go in now. Obviously, you're not allowed to overtake the safety car until the safety car comes into the pit. I believe that's what they pit, they, um, they patch. I can't believe I said pitch for a minute there. I do apologise about that. And Zoro has been in the, this position many, many times right now. I think he has led from the safety car before. Sometimes he's had a really good start. But there were some other times where he's had a rubbish start. So hopefully this is the race where he has a really good start. Let us know in chat. Do you think he's going to get a good start? We'll have to find out. Safety car is in this lap. Just as I predicted, it will be up to Zoro now to control the pace. Zoro is technically the safety car. 
and a lot of people behind him are so eager to get going. But again, Zoro is the one to control the pace, not Dragon, not Rage Quit, no, and not Manello, baby. And we got quite a few collisions in the safety car. Has it got a five second penalty with a collision with Hydra Dan? I believe that would be a stop, stop and go penalty, I think. Yes, it will be. So, let's see if Zoro could get a good start. Zoro does get a good start on those hard tyres. Absolutely brilliant. But another person has got a good start is Manello, baby, in a P3. He's going to try and see if he could go in to the left-hand side into turn one. He wants P2 so badly. Dragon is going to hold on for dear life here as they both go side by side. But Dragon just gets the switch back really perfectly here. And wow, we have a big pile-up. Black Sheep has had an off. Pazic has almost just hit flash. A few people being late on the brakes there around turn four. There are a few eager people here. Hydra Dan getting a free second time penalty due to multiple warnings. I won't be surprised if a few of these guys decide to pit again if they have damage. Meanwhile, Purple doing well in eighth place at the moment. Oh, what happened with Sig? Did he just lose the back end completely on his own? It all, honestly, it almost looked like it, but it is too hard to tell, really. Sig down in 15th now. He was running second and third earlier. So he's got a lot, lot to live up to. What about the, these guys in this train? Did any of them get caught up in the damage? It's obviously hard to tell in the night time. But just look at these cars on, uh, on the night. It's pretty good. Meanwhile, Bito is going to prove to us that going onto the medium's tyres was the right one. We've got a yellow flag. That is another Alfa, Alfa Romeo of Calissa. Let's watch the battle for fourth place. Here comes Bito to the left. Nixana defends on the right. Bito's going to aim for the switch back on the right-hand side. Not much room. Don't forget the DRS is not enabled until the next lap. It's usually three laps after the safety car. But this time, Bito gets the job done. Nicely controlled for him. He's up into fourth place. Again, Nixana getting a bit eager as well. Going down the hill into turn seven. A little bit of skin marks there as well, which may help some of the drivers with their braking references as well. That usually helps me as well. It's a bit more reliable in a way. We'll have to find out. Four attempts now separating between Dragon and Manello. And more crucially, Dragon is out of DRS range of Zoro. Zoro managing to pull away and Whatever time he eats in now, the more position he's going to gain when he comes out of the pit stops. He's, def he's definitely not going to be in the lead of this race when he comes out, but he's going to possibly be in with a good shot of getting some points. And we have it just confirmed here. DRS is enabled for these guys. So for the likes of Nixana, Rage Quit, Cryptic, Furball, Burke, Pazic, Ryzen, Hydradan, and also Black Sheep. They're the ones that will be benefiting from this. Everybody else will be worried. Let's jump into the back of Pazic now. Pazic had the DRS wide open, but just couldn't get the lunge he needed. His next chance would be turns 10 and 11. We are at the halfway stages now. Once we, when, once we go into turns 10 and 11, we will definitely be at the halfway stage. And look at this midfield train. This is absolutely insane. And my phone is just uh, gone on the floor. And that doesn't really help because that's got all my notes in it, which is not good. But there we go. My phone's back now. Good news, good news chat. My phone is still alive and kicking. Surprisingly, I haven't broken my phone yet, but 
En enough about that. Zoro has... Zoro is struggling a little bit because you can see people on fresher tyres starting to gain on the Ferrari driver. Dragon getting a better run into turn one. This should be easy pickings for Dragon as he goes towards turn one. And Dragon, I think it's going to get the jump. But he almost had it, actually. But look at this. Marinello and Bito got both past both. You know, they both got past Dragon. That was crazy. Dragon has lost two places. He, I think he made a mistake. Or maybe Marinello, Baby and Bito were very, very brave. So fair play to the, both of them, especially to Marinello, Baby as well. So I believe Marinello Baby was behind Bitto. Crazy stuff. Well done. So at the moment, Marinello Baby is your net race leader because obviously Bitto still has to pit. Marinello Baby can stay on those tyres to the end. And he's right on the back of Zoro now. I wonder if Marinello Baby could send Victor in his sights. Could we see a second different race winner? Two wins out of two. Only time will tell. There was one league race I was commentating, well, league I was commentating, which I'm not going to say on stream. I think that was about five or six different winners in a row. And it was absolutely insane. But anyway, we've got Manello Baby going for the lunge there. Easy does it, goes Manello Baby into turn one. He takes the lead. But he's got to be careful that he doesn't get held up into traffic again. Traffic being a really important factor in Bahrain, especially around here. So what I believe is aggressively defending, trying to defend still. I thought you would let, I thought you would let Bito pass by now, but he's not going to. So he's probably thinking, just because you won last week, that doesn't mean you're going to win this week. Both of them just leaving enough space. Hard but fair racing here in Bahrain. I nearly called it Abu Dhabi. And probably people would never see, it, see the light of me after that. Five times now between Manello, Baby and Bitto. Bitto pulling away now. Zoro's on the cusp of his tyres dying. So he's going to pit for either the medium or the soft. Most likely the soft. Which is going to be fresh than everybody else's and... He's going to try and go for fast enough. Everybody else is going to hope for a safety car because otherwise the fastest lap is going to directly belong to him. And is Zoro going to think about pitting now? Just a reminder, the sauce can last 10 laps. So you'll need to pit at the end of lap 19 in order to use it to full effect. But meanwhile, Balfour the lead once again. Here come Bitto into turn one on the... On the you, our left hand side, his right, going into turn three now, now into turn four, Bito could send his chance now, he won last week, but he doesn't care, he wants to win this week too, he wants to extend his championship lead, but Marinello baby is not going to make it any easier whatsoever, he holds a brilliant line does Marinello baby, but let's see, Bito late on the brakes there, and I think he's just about going to have the edge. We'll see. Going towards turn 9 and 10 now. They almost touch a little bit. We'll see if we go on board with Bito. Nope, I don't think Bito can get past at the moment. Just look at Marinello Baby's straight line speed. It may be due to the Mercedes power unit. Or it might be due to the setup that Marinello Baby is using. You can see Bitto is gaining a lot more speed in the corners right now. And that is what's helping at this stage. Here we go and we're about to start lap 19. 11 laps to go. This is crucial. Some of these guys, they'll need to pit one more time. Bito's going to do all he can to try and get the race victory here. 
But Marinello, you can, you can see Marinello baby's tired in a lot better condition. He's doing better in terms of tyre management here today. And here we go, they're going wheel to wheel in turn four, heading towards turn five. And then into turn six coming up now. Bitto gets the, the, the waist lead at the moment. But for how much longer? Here comes Marinello baby. This is very close racing and I'm loving every single minute of it. Going into turn 10 now. Let's see how much the gap is. Four tenths of a second now. Separating Bitto and Manella Baby. How much is it going to stay right now? We'll see it drop off as the mediums start to die off, of course. The mediums could last 15 laps. So I believe that'll take us to lap 26, I think. I'll need to, honestly, I need to do my calculations correct, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on this one. But we shall see. It's not over until the checkered flag falls. And we've got Zorro going into the pits then for his first stop. And onto the soft tyre as he goes. Meanwhile, there's loads of battles happening in the midfield. Fairball up the inside, up into P8. Hadley's going to get the DRS down the sit stream. Getting the better run here. Going to the right-hand side of turn four. A lock up there from Hadley, but that hasn't hurt him in the slightest. Fairball doesn't want, doesn't want to give up that easy. Here he goes. Who said you can't overtake at this point of the circuit? Well, these drivers are proving to us that they can. Meanwhile, early on in the field, we did see Cryptic try and go for a move on Dragon. And there we got it. Cryptic up into fourth. At the moment, we haven't seen much of Cryptic, but he's doing very well, making some good moves. He could very well be a contender for driver of the day. As do a lot of these guys so far. Let us know who you think should get driver of the day today. Let us know in chat. I am checking chat a majority of the time. And if you think I'm not responding, I am, but just in my mind at the moment. And the bowels have not stopped for the whole of this race, which is fantastic. I wonder how these bowels are going to ensue in a Bahrain, uh, in Bahrain, in Vietnam next week. So here comes Rage Quit with a damage from wing. I want, where did he get damaged? I think it might be in a safety car. So he was trying to hold it as long as he possibly can here. And again, he goes for the soft. So it's all right. You have a challenge for fast as that, my friend. I wonder if people outside the top 10 will be thinking the same. Will they be going for the soft as well? We'll see. Meanwhile, even though it's a battle for not being last, it's still a battle to follow with Ryzen and Sig going into turn one. This time Ryzen gets it. Correctly, nicely done. Sorry about my English there. That was uh, not the best English, but there we go. But yeah, brilliant stuff. The gap is starting to form between Bitto and Marinello, baby. Bitto is still on the cusp of possibly getting a puncher soon if he's not careful. And Marinello, baby, still keeping up to the pace, even on those hard tyres. So you can definitely see... It's getting to the crossover point really, really soon in about a few laps time. If Bitto makes the soft to medium strategy work, that would be a miracle. But I'm just gonna go on the assumption that he's got to pit once more. And as far as my data goes, I don't think he's gonna make it to the end. It only look the mediums only last 15 laps. And the deltas are not too big of a difference. 0.5 seconds slower than the softs are the mediums. And 0.8 seconds slower than the softs are the hards. So, 
Not that much tired deck in that sense. Meanwhile, Nixana and Cryptic are going to go for a move. Dragon again losing out. Cryptic was on the shot for third. We got a yellow flag. It's Furball. Furball has spun into turn six and seven. Meanwhile, let's concentrate our battle for the podium position. We got Cryptic really gaining here. Let's see how many places Cryptic has gained so far this race. Five. Nixana has gained 11. Marlena Baby has gained 14 places. And Nixana out of the race. Can we see another safety car? Yes, we do see a safety car. Bito is really lucky that this happened. He has got a free pit stop. And he's opted to stay out. What is he doing? He's going to be on the cusp of a puncher. Has he made the biggest mistake of his life? Was he meant to do that? Maybe he's not done his research properly or something. Or maybe he wants to get a, f a fair fight. But if I were him, getting a few points is better than getting none at all. I've seen in a few races recently, there was one race I commented on around Silverstone where someone just wanted a whole position. They were in puncher territory and they ended up getting a puncher. And the consequence of that, they ended up getting zero points. So I wonder if Bitter will have to pit soon. So who else has stayed out? Hydrodan has stayed out too. Manello Baby has jumped to third place on the softs. Zoro now up into fourth. That's good time for Zoro. Don't forget, Zoro only pitted on lap 19.20. So he must be loving the safety car gods right now. He's probably like, oh, thank you very much. Hopefully he'll have better luck this time. I'm not going to say much about Zoro this time because the last time I said stuff about Zoro, he goes in and bottles it. And I don't want to be known for commentators' curses. JC saying Bitto should have pitted. Yes, I do agree with that. But obviously, you are got to learn from that. This is the first race on this new cycle on this game. And we're going to wait and see how long these catch up. I think it's going to be a w one more lap to go. So I think we're just waiting for Calissa and Black Sheep to catch up. I think that's what's going to happen, of course. Lap 23 of 29. Bitto is going to be worried. He's got people that can make those tyres to the end. And then we've got people like Marnello, Baby, Zoro, Dragon, who have just peered on the softs. Birch dropped off a little bit. I think Rage Quit has to be forced to get the position back, surely? I don't know. And BC says, is this Xbox? No, it's not. This is PC. This is PC, just to let you know. And just to let you know, I do commentate on both PC, mainly PC and PS4. The only time I commentate for Xbox is AOR, Apex Online Racing, F1 League. Which I should find out if I get tier 1 again. I think this weekend, actually. So, fingers crossed about that. That's, that's the only league I commentate for Xbox for. Yeah, Rage Quit. What is going on with this safety car? It's like people have been forced to let people through. Bert's got a five second penalty for annoying yellow flag. Max has spun off. He's ignoring it as well. What on earth just went on then? That was very, very weird there. I think a few of those five second penalties will be removed. I'm, I'm almost certain it will be. As long as they have their race directors, it should be absolutely fine. But we shall see. I wonder, is the safety car going to come in in this lap? Who do you think is going to win now? The race has definitely turned on its head. Rage Quit getting a five second penalty with a severe collision. Rage Quit will have to pit, so Burke. Safety car is in this lap. 
What is Bitter going to do? Is he going to pit? Is he going to... Is he going to stay out and try and hope these tyres get to the end? We shall see. If, if it's a guy that could do it, though, it's Alex. He's warming up his tyres quite nicely, though. That safety car has probably helped him. That's probably why. So definitely the tyres could last a bit longer. Furball again getting another five second penalty. But meanwhile, you can see the life on a bit of tire is starting to degrade here as Manella Baby goes past Bitto quite easily there. But Zora Noir having the same effect on Hydra. What's going on at the back? Quite a few people have lost positions here. I think we've got a safety car glitch, I think, as Matt tries to get past Nixana. As Nixana's out of the race. Actually, no, it was Nick, Nick, uh, Matt and Kalissa, actually. Let's jump to Zora and Dragon. Zora gets past Dragon, what he needed to. He's going to find it harder to get past Manello, Man Man baby, because he's on the fresher tyres, but we shall see. Manello, baby, only two tens behind Bitto now. We'll see no DRS yet until around about lap 28. Or well, lap 27, actually. Here comes Manello, baby. Bitto just holding on. Who said they can't overtake in turn 11? Trying to overcome that understeer goes Manello Baby. And he does get the move done. Manello Baby into the lead of this Grand Prix. He has gained the most positions out of everyone. These safety cars have benefited him. The other person that's also gained positions is Zoro. It will probably give Zoro driver of the day though. But we shall see. You can see how many stops people have made. The only people that made one stop is Zoro and Hydradan. Everyone else has made at least two stops. Can we have this every week? Our light races with two stops strategy just, just makes the races a little bit more interesting. Just saying there's another league I'm in that is two stop strategy is mandatory. Hmm. You know, we shall see. And look at this look at this helicopter shot it's amazing that Furball again having a little bit of an issue dropping down into last place that is not where you want to be down in 16th and Bitto dropping off from Manella Baby you can see the Delta now is so much bigger compared to Manella Baby's new softs so it could be a few laps time or even a lap time where Zoro and Dragon could catch up. I think I think it's inevitable really. And Kalusa getting that three second time penalty too. I literally don't know who's gonna potentially get a podium. It's gonna be going to be in the tightest of margins here. Manella Baby gets the fastest lap of the race of 128.0. DRS is enabled now. So we're going to see the likes of Dragon and Zora really start to close in more now with the slipstream and the DRS. And we're now going to go towards turn four now. Demi's going to get the move done there. Meanwhile, Max Vaughn was in last place a moment ago. Now he's going to be in a chance to get P10. Oh, a little bit of a touch from him though for Ryzen. Oh, that was so close. There might be some M plate missing from someone. But if it was just M plate, I think they can nurse the tire, well, nurse the car really. Until the end. I think. And here comes Black Sheet around the outside of Ryzen into turn 10. Controlled. And he kept it concise as well. But Ryzen could have another look into turn 11. Is he going to? He's running out of verse though. He is in, he's the one who's in absolute danger. For those of you that just joined us, you are about to witness the greatest final few laps ever in a while of this European racing series for the PC 
I do see Black Sheep losing a bit of his front wing. Or it might just be the the dark or the street lights, I'm not sure. Meanwhile, let's go on board with Zoro and Bitto. We've got Rage Quit on Cryptic as well, but let's watch the battle for second place. It's more important. Bitto's going to do all he can, but look at Dragon! Dragon out of nowhere. He's going to try and go past Zoro. I think Dragon's tyres are probably going to be the one that's going to be the most effective in this situation. Could Dragon get the podium? Don't forget, I haven't touched much about penalties. I haven't even checked penalties so far this race. And you know what? I'm not going to. Dragon is going to try and take the gamble here. Or is he going to wait for the, the slipstream? He is going to wait for the slipstream here. So here comes Dragon. Into turn 11 once more. Still staying behind. And a quick reminder, due to that safety car, a few safety cars, Bitto was able to push those memes to a little bit longer. So maybe he could make the softer meme strategy work. I want, I'll, I'll be interested to know what his tyre wear is at the end of this race. Because there are signs that he is struggling. But there's one way to find out. It all comes down to penalties as well. Meanwhile, here comes Zoro, challenging for P2. He had a spin last time about in Australia. A little bit of a touch from Bitto, actually. As Bitto almost been forced wide. But here comes Zoro, going to the right-hand side. Both of them trying to leave as much space as they possibly can. Zoro has the upper hand on Bitto on this final lap. But Bitto, what a switchback. But then Zoro comes for the switchback again. They're both fighting head to toe at the moment for this second place. It's like do or die for both of these guys. Flash is now out of the race. I think it was turn one, I think, in the wall, which is a bit of a shame there, but these next instalments could decide a few positions in this race. Meanwhile, Burke is up into sixth place. So the safety car must have definitely helped him in many ways as well. Rage quit still lagging as well. I think he may be investigated by the stewards if he keeps lagging for certain people. We'll have to find out. Meanwhile, Bitto has now dropped down into fourth place. Has he got a puncher? I don't think he has. Nope, he's not. He's just running out of VRS. He could be under pressure from Cryptic as well for the position. But meanwhile, let's go on board with Manello, baby. He did what he needed to do today. He was hoping for the safety car and it worked. He binned it across the line, but it didn't matter. Manila Baby takes the win here in Bahrain. Zoro, it was redemption time for him. Gets P3, two, sorry. Bitto gets P3 due to Dragon getting more penalties. Cryptic in fifth. Burke in sixth. Pazic in seventh. And, uh, and drive of the day for me has got me Manila Baby. He definitely deserved that win today. I know the safety cars helped him, but I mean you got to have skill as well. And you got to have luck too with these types of races. Manello, baby, is going to climb his way up the standings after that race. The game has given the driver of the day to Zoro. You know what? I'll give joint drivers of the day to Zoro and Manello, baby. They both needed luck today. And they were given luck. Here we go, Manello Baby takes the win, even with a three second penalty. And that, that tire life that he had, that advantage helped him increase the gap. So he didn't need that deficit at all. He was six seconds ahead in the end. So we've got Manello Baby from Zoro, from Bitto, from Dragon, from Cryptic, from Burke, from Pazic, from Raiden, from Rage Quit, and then Black Sheep. Zoro come, came from 90th on the grid. Crazy man. And then we got Sig in 11, Furball 12, Mac in 13, Kalissa in 14, Hardadan in 15. And then we got your non finishers of Flash, Nixana, Set, TX, and Higgsy. My oh my, that has been a crazy race. Bahrain has failed to disappoint today. It was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it.
Make sure you join us same time next week as we go to Vietnam and Hanoi for the Viet Vietnamese Grand Prix or the Vietnam Grand Prix. I don't know how you call it, really. But make sure you join us then. Will anyone... Will we get a third different winner in three races? We thought BO was going to be dominant today, but the mistake in the second safety car costed him. If he, if he didn't make that same mistake, he would have gone to win the race. So we'll see you next week for some more European Race Series action. Have a good evening, everybody, and goodbye.